And if you haven't been filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, this message about tongues ceasing is not for you. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight I will be talking about among other things, speaking in tongues, what it is and what it is not. And I recommend you proceed with caution. Now, first of all, this message is not for everyone. I believe in speaking in tongues. I've preached repeatedly on this topic over and over for the last 40 years and thousands have received the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues through this ministry and I have personally put in my 10,000 plus hours in speaking in other tongues it is the evidence of being filled with the Holy Ghost scripturally Acts chapter 2 and verse 15 for these are not drunken as you suppose seeing it is but the third hour of the day verse 16 but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel this is that what is that the speaking with other tongues is that which was prophesied by the prophet Joel that the Holy Ghost would come into the earth it is the beginning of speaking in agreement with God the Holy Ghost Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them so they were speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost but it was just the beginning it wasn't the end it didn't end there it began there say so it didn't end there it began there and that was the beginning of the Holy Ghost dispensation not the end so it's the beginning of speaking in agreement with God the Holy Ghost and you're speaking by faith without understanding you don't know what you're saying 1st Corinthians 14 and verse 14 says for if I pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prays but my understanding is unfruitful you don't really know what you're saying what is it then verse 15 I will pray with the Spirit I will pray with the understanding also I will sing with the Spirit I will sing with the understanding also so when you're speaking in unknown tongues you are speaking in and by faith without understanding and this was the beginning of the Holy Ghost dispensation the beginning you understand now tongues is speaking in tongues is a doctrine of baptism say a doctrine of baptism Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11 here we have John the Baptist he says I indeed baptize you with water remember that unto repentance but he that comes after me who would that be Jesus he that comes after me is mightier than I 
whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire receiving the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues is a baptism say it's a baptism and it's a doctrine of baptism I would that you all be baptized I would that you all speak with other tongues however we need to go on remember that's just the beginning we need to go on Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on let who go on let us go on let us go on unto perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God verse 2 of the doctrine of what baptisms we're not gonna lay again we need to go on and not lay again the foundation of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying out of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment and this we will do this we will do if God permit and I'm telling you he is permitting it in this day and age because we're not at the beginning we're at the end of this age say we need to go on let us go on unto perfection would it say that if someone wasn't called to go there so we can't just continually be laying the foundation over and over again we have to lay the foundation and then go on which means we have the foundation as a foundation and we go on let us go on verse 2 of the doctrine of baptisms verse 3 this we will do speaking in tongues is the beginning it's not the end we are not at the beginning we are in fact approaching and very close to the end and we're stepping over into the next tongues speaking in tongues was the beginning and established us in the foundation it was a foundation and he said then we have to go on and tongues will not take us into the next I used to want to say tongues won't take you here but it's stronger than that speaking in tongues can't take you here where we are going in the 40 years plus that I've been speaking in tongues none of the preachers that I knew or submitted myself to ever used the words I worship you Holy Ghost and yet they were active speakers in other tongues is because speaking in other tongues can't take you here are you getting this some of you are and as far as that cord goes speaking in tongues speaking in tongues speaking in tongues speaking they can't go here we go on unto perfection and speaking in tongues ceases to be effectual over here now stay with me first Corinthians chapter 13 verse 10 but when that which is perfect is come then that which is in part shall be done away verse 8 charity never fails but whether there be prophecies they shall fail whether there be tongues they shall cease when when that which is perfect is come what are we going on unto perfection tongues can't go there in fact your going on unto perfection triggers the cessation of speaking in other tongues that'll mean a lot more to some people than to others 
and I'm not saying this to discourage you from speaking in other tongues you need to follow the process Paul said let us go on if you're gonna go on unto something you had to be there first you had to be in the doctrine of baptism of speaking in other tongues first and then you go on to perfection are you here and if you haven't been filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues and if you haven't developed your prayer language into what it ought to be this message about tongues ceasing is not for you you need to go back and get those things working for you go back and buy from those vendors who sell that go back into my messages where I used to preach on that regularly but this that I'm talking about today is not that remember Joel said this is that where the Holy Ghost was coming in and speaking in other tongues that this was that this is not that because that was at the beginning and the cessation is at the end are you here but if you have received the Holy Ghost the evidence of speaking in other tongues and you have developed your prayer language into what it ought to be then there is so much more waiting for you I know a lot of people don't like that they think that's the end all if I can just get filled with the Holy Ghost and speak with other tongues yada 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 that was it no it's not it you go all the way through that and go on there is much more and don't even say I'm trying to tell people not to speak in other tongues that's ridiculous I'm saying there comes a place where we are going where tongues will not take you that's what I'm saying so back off there's much more Hebrews chapter 6 we read some of this leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on verse 2 of the doctrine of baptisms we're going on verse 3 this we will do if God permit he is he didn't permit in the first days he didn't permit this at the beginning of the church so many people that I know are trying to get back to where the church began why we've already been there we're at the end and we're looking over into the next verse 4 4 it's impossible for those who were once enlightened have tasted of the heavenly gift were made partakers of the Holy Ghost do you see the progression here have tasted the good Word of God and they end the powers of the world to come or like I like to say the powers of the WTC powers of the world to come you ready for this speaking in tongues is not a power of the world to come get that straight speaking in tongues is not a power of the world to come we're going on and speaking in tongues is not there I'm telling you be angry with me all you want however worshiping the Holy Ghost is a power of the world to come John 14 16 says he will abide with you forever speaking his word is a power of the world to come his word abides forever speaking in tongues can't take you there to the powers of the world to come because it is not a power of the world to come Holy Ghost worship will worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word transfers over glory is a power of the world to come some people would say that's what the world to come is 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 glory 
glory is a power of the world to come second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17 now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty liberty is freedom a freedom and a liberty to do something you couldn't do before verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory say the glory the glory of this spirit lord are changed into the same image from one glory to another glory even as by the spirit of the lord or even as by the spirit lord we are changed by knowing him by worshiping him and by speaking in agreement with him from one glory to the next glory this transfers over where the other things couldn't what is the effect of using these powers of the world to come on this side all creation waits for it Romans chapter 8 and verse 21 because the creature or creation itself all creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God the glorious liberty of the children of God we are changed from one glory to another glory liberty there's a new liberty for those of us who worship the Holy Ghost and speak in agreement with his word and we are changed in a way that other people can't be even if they speak in other tongues because speaking in other tongues can't go here but this glorious liberty that we begin to walk in not only changes us from glory to glory but all creation it says here is waiting for it and shall also be delivered with us shall also that's what also means it will be delivered with us as we move from one glory to the next glory these are those who have gone on may that be you and may your ears hear what have been said this evening holy ghost we thank you that these people have heard they've heard the word of the lord come to them this evening and great changes have begun to take place on the inside and they shall no longer be held back by the things that others have been saying to them but they shall step up and move over into the next place where we shall be established in the powers of the world to come and all creation shall be changed also with us in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I'm being changed right now from one glory to the next glory and my finances follow after me and are increasing from one glory to the next to the next to the next in Jesus name Amen Jesus at his right